Hello and welcome through door 20 of Santa's Story Shed Advent Calendar. How are you doing? Have you got things sorted for Christmas yet? We've still got to order our food for the Christmas meal. Uh, but I think everything else is sorted out. I think so. I could be wrong. Anyway, I hope that you're all keeping well and safe and sane. And that you've been enjoying the Advent Calendar so far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share uh, if you like the stories and poems. Because it would be nice to have more people hear them. I've got a small, short, very short story for uh, the day 20. Behind the door of day 20 on the advent calendar. And it's The Legend of the Christmas Tree by Lucy Wheelock. And... Uh, I don't know who to dedicate it to this time. I, I've not a clue. Who should I dedicate it to? I'm going to dedicate it to me mum, um, who's no, no longer with us, but um, uh, yeah, I'm going to dedicate it to my mum. There we go. How nice is that? So, The Legend of the Christmas Tree by Lucy Wheelock. Two little children were sitting by the fire one cold winter's night. All at once, they heard a timid knock at the door, and one ran to open it. There, outside, in the cold and the darkness, stood a child with no shoes upon his feet, and clad in thin, ragged garments. He was shivering with cold, and he asked to come in and warm himself. Yes, come in, cried both the children. You shall have our place by the fire. Come in. They drew the little stranger to their warm seat and shared their supper with him and gave him their bed while they slept on a hard bench. In the night they were awakened by strains of sweet music and looking out they saw a band of children in shining garments approaching the house. They were playing on gold harps and the air was full of melody. Suddenly the strange child stood before them no longer cold and ragged, but clad in silvery light. His soft voice said, I was cold and you took me in. I was hungry and you fed me. I was tired and you gave me your bed. I have been wandering through the world to bring peace and happiness to all good children. As you've given to me, so may this tree every year give rich fruit to you. So saying, he broke a branch from the fir tree that grew near the door, and he planted it in the ground and disappeared. And the branch grew into a great tree, and every year it bore wonderful fruit for the kind children. So that was the story of the, the Christmas tree. We haven't got our Christmas tree up yet. Have you got yours up? Maybe you could send us a picture of you, your Christmas tree, or uh, let us know when you'll be putting it up. If you have any stories or poems that you would like to hear in the next few days that are left of the Advent Calendar of Stories and Poems, that would be great. Just write to the Storyshed blog at gmail.com. That's the Storyshed blog at gmail.com. And if you have any dedications that you'd like to make, write to the same place as well. But in the meantime, take very good care and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.